and let me explain what's going on. <clears throat> well, the, the, the mower would suddenly stop while driving, no forward, no reverse, and you'd get a little smoke coming out of the front end, you know, like down around wooden pulleys are. And uh, so we didn't have no forward, no reverse. So I took apart a couple things here, nothing major. You know, you can look at the other videos on how to take things apart because I'm going to tell you what was going on. All right, this is the compartment with the battery and the brackets out. And if you notice down below, uh, the variable um, speed pulley is removed. Well, what we could ha be having here is that the variable speed pulley uh, definitely the bearings were pretty much uh, useless and I'll show you them in just a moment so that would make the belts jam up right so could it be the transmission the transaxle eh, maybe might still be having an issue there because uh, it's not working exactly the way I want them but they might not be getting what they need right now because of what was going on you know the stress you know with the pulley I took off a couple things in the troubleshooting part like the spring up there if you can see it get a little couple more pictures here okay well there's a spring that I disconnected and it's really no problem. I'll show you how I reconnect it. Uh, you know, I want to take the stress off the belts because I want to check all the pulleys. And when we got to the variable speed pulley, uh, it just flopped over. Okay, it just flopped over. I'll, I'll show you the bearings here. Alrighty, there are the two bearings. There are the two bearings that I removed from the variable speed pulley uh, casing, holder. Three holes there, or three bolts, that you'll see reinstalled. But it was cold and I wanted to get the job of the troubleshooting done so I can order the new parts. In this case, look at those. There's one bearing, and then there's two bearings. And a little extra piece laying there. And over there. All right. So those are pretty much useless. And there's the uh, variable speed pulley. And the new bearings before and after. All right, they were, both of them are inside the holder there. There's a name for it, I don't know, the holder. And they were stacked in there like so. Not not too difficult to remove. You just turn it over, put in a screwdriver or a punch that would get onto the back of the bearing and hit it out. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, reinstall these new bearings. Let's get rid of these old ones. That one, yeah, that one still has a black piece on it, but anyway. Okay, there's a holder. Turn it over because you see this little edge on one side. Little edge. Okay, and that'll be the down direction. And pretty easy. The other ones came out pretty easy. Let's see how these go. Okay, all right. I'm going to go ahead and use a socket there and just bang it down a little bit. Alrighty. See that? It's down in there. It's a nice, uh, nice seat. You know what I mean? Let's put the second one in there. Make sure you don't smack your fingers. Look at that. 
Okay, there you go. The bearings in there, the old junk. There's that variable speed pulley. See if she fits in there. Now those bearings come out easy, remember. in there with a nice when I took it out it was like wobble 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 now look at that that's just me shaking <laughs> anyway let's go for the reinstall and then I'll show you as we go all right from the underneath uh, you see where the variable speed holder is going to be the little speed pulley holder and uh, that goes right there like so. I took the pulley out because we got, we got to put the pulley in from the top side. So here we go. Let's install this with uh, three um, bolts that we removed earlier. This is looking down into the mower and I'm going to go ahead and put in the variable speed pulley and I'm going to hook up those belts at the same time as I'm installing the pulley. the belts on there right in between the two brackets there's two brackets there's a bracket over here it feels like there's one over there make sure the belts are within that around the pulley and just slide your pulley down and then we're going to put in the bottom bolt I took out the linkage there and I'll put that back in just a moment after we get the rest going. Okay, this is what it looks like from underneath. There you got the variable speed pulley. We're gonna go ahead and install the we're gonna go ahead and install the bolt, which is right there, into into the, the shaft of the pulley. Put a vice grip on the pulley to hold it so I can tighten it fairly well. Just want the pulley to stop spinning. Use whatever you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and use the vice grip so that I can really hunk it down on the bolt. I'm sure there's a special torque. I just know it's tight and it'll last another 12 years. What we need to do is to get that spring that's hanging down there, that's on that pulley, and we need to stretch it out over and hook onto this side. Okay, how are we going to do that? Well, I made this this uh, contraption here. If you can see it, there it is, out of a coat hanger. Right, and just uh, twisted it and the end of the spring is going to go on that loop that you see that I have twisted and what you got to do is no you can do whatever you want you know this is how I do it you stick it through there okay you see the spring there you got it on the end of the wire here and what's going to happen is just going to pull wire through the hole and bring the spring with it. Bingo bango.
All right, just get that in the spot that it goes. So get that over there. Pop in there. Always keep the fingers clear and use safety glasses doing this stuff. Spring's good for you. the old battery brackets. This battery bracket, the other battery bracket. There you go. Thank you. 